Princess and the Pea. Once upon a time, there was a prince who wanted to marry a princess, but she would have to be a real princess. He traveled all over the world to find one, but nowhere could he get what he wanted. There were plenty of princesses, but it was difficult to find out whether they were real ones. So he came home again and was very sad, for he would have liked very much to have a real princess. One evening, a terrible storm came on. There was thunder and lightning, and the rain poured down in torrents. Suddenly, a knocking was heard at the town gate, and the old king himself went to open it. It was a princess who stood outside in front of the town gate. But good gracious, she was in a terrible state from the rain and the wind. The water streamed out of her hair and dirty clothes. It ran down into the toes of her shoes and out again at the heels. But she said that she was a real princess. Well, we shall soon see if that is true, thought the old queen. But she said nothing. She went into the bedroom, took all the bedclothes off the bedstead, and laid a pea on the bottom. Then she took twenty mattresses and piled them on top of the pea, and then twenty eiderdown feather beds on top of the mattresses. This was where the princess was to sleep that night. In the morning, she was asked how she had slept. Oh, very badly, said she. I have scarcely closed my eyes all night. Heaven only knows what was in that bed. But I was lying on something hard, so that I am black and blue all over my body. It's horrible. Now they knew that she was a real princess, and there was no question about it, because only a real princess would have such sensitive and delicate skin. Only a real princess had felt the pee right through the twenty mattresses and the twenty eiderdown feather beds. The prince rushed over to her side and knelt before her. Please marry me and live here. The princess looked shocked and said, "Yes." I will marry you. The next day, after the princess got a good night's sleep without a pea to disturb her, the prince and the princess were married, and they lived happily ever after. As for the pea, they put it in the royal museum, where it could still be seen if no one has stolen it. There, that is a true story.